welcome to tangling along with me we are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we are going to do so let's open up the book and find a place for this pattern um this pattern is actually uh you start with a um okay let's do it like that i'm going to take my black micron pn for this and I am going to take um, maybe this spot right here for it. And the pattern is actually starting with some some odd dots in a square pattern. So I'm just trying to do that with a equal amount of space between these dots. I'm not good at these patterns starting like this. But now we are doing it. There we go. Oh, actually I think I could have one right there. Okay, so um, this pattern actually uh, goes from one dot to the other one where you make this um, kind of shape. Actually it looks a bit like an 8. Um, in the original this is not touching at the middle so it's more open right there. But um, I like it when it touch in the middle. And I'm gonna do this between all my dots here. Like that. I'm gonna turn my page and I'm gonna start up here because it's hard to see now where I started this pattern. So I'm just counting two down and doing the same thing right there. And I might have made these bubbles a little too small, but this is how they're gonna be by me right now. And then here. row. I'm just giving that a half line of these bubbles like I did up here. And um, then you can um, you can place a color dot here in the middle. I will do that with um, with my um, white jelly roll 
and you can do different things in the middle here um, I'm just thinking of which one I'm gonna do I like the little flower uh, this is just ideas and I'm gonna make mine a bit different so I'm just making a dot in the middle and then four leaves I like that and right here I'm just doing this in all of these bubbles or middle parts of the bubbles And the last row. There we go. Putting that away. And I'm going to take my white micron 08 right now and I'm making sure it's working and then in the step out you could uh, the show like this uh, inside tiny shape or running the outside so I'm just gonna do that in all of these bubbles here and if I made it a bit uh, bigger I could do this a little easier the row. I'm just gonna turn my book a bit for making this one so that I don't place my hand in the wet ink. Making sure it is dry before I start again. And I'm just gonna do it the opposite way here. I like that. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. And I am going to take my black micron PN again, just because I can. And I'm going to make a little um, line here in each of these flower leaves. give it a little more life
This does not have to be precise, just a little line. There we go. I like that. That looks nice. Um, I'm going to take a little of my graphite. It's uh, just an HB pencil. And I'm um, placing a little shadow here on the inside of these bubbles here. doing that with all of these bubbles. There we go. Taking my tortillon and just smoosh it into the paper. Okay, 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 okay. I could put a little white on the other side. Taking a little of my white charcoal, just rotate my piece here and just place a little of my white charcoal along the other side of the bulbs. Bubbles. Just a tiny bit. I'm not pushing it into the paper, I'm just lightly us going over the paper here where I want it. Taking my tortillon for the white and just um, smush it into the paper. I'm not dragging it out that much, just keeping it in this uh, side of this uh, box to brighten it up a bit over in the side. That's what I like about these colored pieces of paper. You can use the white to lighten it up. There we go. Let's turn it back around. So that was the pattern for today. I really like it. I think it's uh, super cool. This is the pattern we made. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.